Hi Marianne, I thought I'd make you a quick video. Um, I just wanted to show you how I've got here. So I'm in my dashboard. Not quite sure how you can find these opportunities. You probably find opportunities which are assigned to me, um, which are under my new prospects. And then I'm on this screen. Um, hopefully you've got this too. Then I've scrolled down and found, for example, the Southern Cross Vapors, which has no name, no phone number, nothing attached to it. If you hover over the contact name here, it then you can search for contact. So if that contact already exists, you can just put that in and everything will, so let's see. Hmm. Nothing here, search criteria. There should be something. Uh, let me check. Yeah, I just used my own name, but I should be in here anyway. So if I put in Sarah, um, here are the Sarahs, you can then select it to, and then the company and everything else would automatically be um, assigned to it, I hope. That's how I would do it. You can probably also, yeah, look under first name or last name. So before you assign it to it, you probably want to see if that person is actually in on Fusionsoft. But I'm not in here, which is very, very... So if the contact person is Sarah Mills, then she's in there. If that person is not in here as a contact, you obviously can't do that. So you have to go into home, sorry, contacts, add a contact, and then create the whole kerfuffle with the contact. So that's how you should always create a contact. And then interested in, which creates the opportunity. If you put in not interested in anything, it won't create an opportunity. But that's how you should create a contact. Uh, let me know if any questions.